Hello, we're gonna do chapter 6, which talks about the perpetual inventory records using FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average. In this video, I'm gonna talk about FIFO method, which is first in, first out. So we have this question. Assume that GR Tire Store completed the following perpetual inventory transactions for a line of tires. Okay? He's gonna ask you to compute cost of goods sold and gross profit using the FIFO inventory costing method, LIFO, and weighted average. Then he's asking which method results in the largest gross profit and why. Okay? So for now, we're gonna do FIFO method, first in, first out. So this is the perpetual inventory record, okay? It has three main columns, one for purchases, one for cost of goods sold, and one for inventory on hand, which we call it the balance. This is the balance. So as you know, perpetual means I need to update my inventory account after each purchase and after each sale. So let's start with our example. I, I have the transactions down here. Okay. So on October 1st, beginning merchandise inventory, 20 tires at $66 each okay so the first one it's on October 1st this is my beginning balance so it's not purchases it's not cost of goods sold it's beginning balance so the quantity will be 20 units the unit cost will be 66 so the total cost will be 20 multiplied by 66 which is 1 1320 then on October 11 purchase 8 tires at 73 purchases so under purchases 8 tires at 73 each so 8 times 73 it's gonna be 584 now the balance now it's 20 units and 8 units so I'm gonna write them in order 20 at 66 each so the total will be 1320 then I purchased 8 so at 73 each so the total will be 584 now on october 23 sale 15 tires at 86 each now the 86 is the sales price it's not the cost so it's going to help you to find the sales revenue not the cost of goods sold here I'm talking about cost of goods sold. Okay, here it's cost of goods sold, not sales revenue. So I'm going to ignore the 86 here. Okay, I want to sell 15 tires. I'm using FIFO method, which means first in, first out. So we start with the oldest. So I start with the oldest. I need to sell 15 units. So I need to look at the 20, the oldest. Is it enough to take 15 out of 20? Yes. So I'm going to take all of the 15 from the first cost, which is 66. So 15 times 66, it's going to be 990. Now what's left? 20 units, 15 sold. So 5 left. 5 times 66 each. So the total will be 330. 
and also we have eight units at 73 each so the total cost is 584 now on october 26 purchase so under purchases i'm gonna write 13 units the unit cost is 84 so 13 times 84 it's gonna be 1092 so now the balance has increased i had five units at 66 each so the total is 330 then eight units at 73 each so the total is 584 then 13 units at 84 each so the total will be 1092 okay now on october 29 sale 15 tires at 86 each so again 86 is sales price i'm gonna use it to find the sales revenue okay not to find the cost of goods sold so again we are using five of first and first out so we sell the oldest i want to sell 15 tires so let's start with the first one or the oldest one i have only five units so i cannot get 15 out of five so i need to sell five units the cost for each one is 66 so the total is 330 now i need 10 more so let's go to the next one i have only eight so i'm gonna take all of the eight at 73 each so the total cost for it will be 584 now i need to sell 15 tires not only five and eight so five plus eight it's 13 so i need two units more so i'm gonna take two from the 13 so the cost per unit is 84 two times 84 it's gonna be 168 so now what's left i sold all of the five all of the eight from the 13 i sold in only two so i have 11 units left from the last cost which is 84 so the total will be 924 okay now let's find the totals total purchases is 8 plus 13 it's gonna be 21 units the total cost for the purchases is 584 plus 1092 it's 1676 cost of goods sold total units sold were 30 the cost of goods sold is 990 plus 330 plus 584 plus 168 so it's going to be 2072 now what about the balance can i add all of them no because you're going to have duplicates you just need to take the last box so we have 11 units left the total cost is 924 this one we call it beginning balance and this one we call it the ending balance okay now let's find the gross profit using FIFO sales revenue less cost of goods sold equals gross profit okay now sales revenue amount will be from the sales transaction here we have two sales transaction on 23rd and on 29th we sold 15 units at 86 and 15 units at 86 so i sold 30 units at 86 okay 
30 units at 86. So revenues with 2580. Cost of goods sold is from here. It's 2072. So 2580 less 2072, it's going to be 508. Okay. Now, what if I want to check my answer? We have this formula beginning inventory plus purchases plus ending inventory equals cost of goods sold. Beginning inventory is here. 1320 purchases is this number total purchases for October less ending which is 924 so beginning is 1320 purchases it's 1676 ending is 924 now let's solve for X 1320 plus 1676 less 924. It should be the same as this one. Okay, if you get the same answer, then it's correct. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe.